guys welcome back to my channel and today i've got a book haul so i thought i would film some of these i do have quite a few books here and i probably have more um i am basically some of these books are actually going to be some of my next year reads um uh, i'll explain more of that when i do an update video for next year what my plans are to do it's just obviously i am making sure i'm planning quite ahead so I would just let you know whether these books are going to be for this year or next year. And I believe that's probably one book that I've got for this year. But anyway, there is plenty of books to get through and I do have more on its way as well. So this probably will be uploaded at the end of this month. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So the first book is actually All of These Bodies by Kendall Blake. So I have read um, Anne Dressed in Blood and the second one, which was Girl on Fire. Right, it's a bit cold on the floor. So I've actually read this one. So the basically the back got me was a gruesome killer, seven bodies completely drained of blood, and one impossible explanation mark. So I was like, hmm, what could that be? One second now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks. Um so yeah, so I've got all these bodies. So this is actually going to be a next year's read. Um so like I said, I will explain more when I do my update video for next year. I've still got a video again all of my um collection videos because i did it once then i did it then i thought to do something did it twice and then i forgot to add the books on that i have received so i forgot about it so number one for next year i probably will do these in order i've got them in but i'm not actually completely sure yet um they will probably have yeah, to order okay so the next book is a book i would not normally go for at all i um, i've seen it on my for you page I've seen everywhere so I was like you know what I'm gonna grab it and see what it's all about and that book is actually Icebreaker by Hannah Grace so this is between Anastasia and Nate by the looks of it and some spice happens between an ice skater and a hockey player it does say in the back is an 18 plus content not suitable for younger readers so apparently there's some spice to it I just don't know what kind of spice will be to how spicy it's going to be um, you will kind of notice a theme in my pile as well. I do have a lot of smut books because I'm on a smut kind of roll and I feel like I might be in smut roll to the end as well, which I think I'll be have smut all the way. So this is Icebreaker and then I did actually purchase uh, Wildfire, also by Hannah Grace, and this book came like an ombre kind of look. So this is book, um, taking Russ and Aurora, who are camp counsellors, and I think some kind of spicy things happen at this camp. Who knows? But that's all I'm going. I'm not going full on in on these books for next year. Um, I'm just going to wait until I get through, you know, like, to next year and then find out. Those next year. So this next book is actually going to be this year's read, and that is going to be My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. So this is we have a bounty hunter and a school teacher basically trying to solve a murder, and that's all I want to get into. I don't want to know anything else. But there might some be some romance to it. This ombre look is amazing. Love it. And it says on the back, this won't be a story we tell the grandkids. This one is just for us. So I do wonder what that's going to be. This is a fair, a fair allude, um, a book they have given. So this is my only hardback book I've got so far. Um, next up we have is Goth Icana by Runix. So this is this kind of book. I'm not actually sure what the kind of book is more about. I'm just going to read the first paragraph. It says, uh, Covina Clem is a woman with secrets. The last thing she expects is to receive an admission letter from the University of Vermont, a place just as secretive. Okay, I'm not sure on this, but I believe this is a spicy book. I'm not, not sure on what or how it is, but we see. So that is the next year read. Uh, this next book I wasn't actually going to purchase. I just went, you know what, I'm going to buy the bullet and get it. I have um this. I do have books by this author, and that is Katie Robert. And I decided to get Desperate Measures. So this is um <clears throat> basically Disney retellings. This one here is actually about Jafar and Jasmine. And to turn a few pages in, there's some spice. And I mean, it's spice. You might have to change your words about the whole. Thing about this but i'll tell you now i'm intrigued did not think this book would be this big like this small should i say but i'm intrigued by it so um i cannot wait to read it and i probably will get the full collection actually and read them all in one maybe I haven't decided yet we'll see then uh, next up we have is the werewolf queen by brady elegy this is book one of the wheel of crown series 
So the reason why I got this book is about a girl called Sadie who has no supernatural powers and then on her 18th birthday stuff gets keeps got weird vampires werewolves what else and demons all show up her party and basically telling her that she needs to get safe because something's going to happen and so i believe what possibly could go wrong so that's like my early as well vampires werewolves and demons i kind of what i want to read at the moment and disney retelling by the looks of it this next one is i have a floppy look how floppy this book is um, is actually a Beauty and the Beast retelling. This is Bend Her by Cassie Alexandra. So I'm not sure exactly on this book. I think it does also have spice to it. Um, but I'm intrigued because it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. It's a chunky book as well. So I think I'll be able to get this through um, soon as well. But I'm just looking forward to it. It is just it says, My beast has a feeling she would taste good no matter where he licked her. So by that sentence, I'm guessing that's spice. And the way the title says bend her, so obvious. And then I've got another chunky ass book. Look how chunky that is. And this book, I finally got the bird it as well because I was like, mm, I'm going to read this book anyway, so I need to read it. It's Haunting Adeline by Hate the Carlton. And oh my God, I cannot wait to read this. Literally just did a little skimmer scam and I saw some spice to it already and I was like Ding bing the bell because that's right on my hair alley right now Um, so hopefully I cannot wait This is a chunky book and apparently it does say there is a cliffhanger at the end of this So I will have to get the second book straight away Because my girl girl Look the writing is really small in this as well but it's a It's a chunker okay look how chunky this book is So some of these books I will definitely get the second book or whatever how many books they have and then some of the books i will just wait until i read to see how i feel like how i feel about them but this book is definitely my keeper read i want to know about this i've seen it on my for you page as well so many times so i got the book and i got it and i do need to get the second book as well so that's everything i have so far so there might be more books showing up here and there i'm not sure so you could just say this is a monthly haul of books so far yeah so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time for when i do another video or another clip to this who knows bird peace bye uh hi guys welcome back to my channel um i've got some more little bookish goodies and some uh, dvds and stuff like that i do apologize for the uh, angle i broke my tripod and i've just had to order a new one so there's that so i do have just a few things to add on to my haul from my last video that's gonna be another clip so first thing is a little blurb by Adrian Grace so this is the second book to um, uh, Donna right there um, and this is obviously a Prolute edition what's wrong love afraid I will ruin you so I cannot wait to read this book the last the first book was amazing and I enjoyed it look at this we have our sins of edges we have the kind of similar thing as Bella Donna let me show you the other way and then we have Deb himself. Oof. It is signed. All fairly books are always signed by the author. <coughs> yeah. And I cannot wait to read this book. Um, you guys will see my review probably in December. Roughly. Some of the other books that come before that. So that is that one. And then I've got a new manga series. Which I will plan to read next year so i'm going to get the whole lot because the way it kind of stood out to me and that is mint chocolate this is volume one so <clears throat> this is definitely giving me uh, my marmalade boy um where she ends up getting a new stepbrother and like because they've had they're both of their parents who are married to each other and blah, blah blah you know stuff like that um and there's romance i think starts so i'm not exactly sure this forbidden romance is going to work out or how it's going to work out but i am intrigued by this new book that i've come across so i literally cannot wait to add this to my series of books i'm going to read next year so that will be that one <coughs> and then i do have two dvds as well which the first one is actually haunted mansion and i have got the new version of the haunted mansion arriving i actually wanted to re-watch the first and the original of haunted mansion so I got it and I still love it every time. 
it's just funny for me and I do love it so I've got that one and add to my collection I don't care what stuff in there soon that's gonna be fun I have got the new and updated Scooby-Doo so this is Scooby-Doo and Crypto 2 I can't believe they've finally done one with Scooby-Doo and Crypto I do wonder if Scratch is gonna be in here so it's like DC mixed with Scooby Doo, and it's like God. Like it has all the DC characters. So you see, there's Harley, there's Joker, and then you have literally like the whole Scooby Gang. So I cannot wait to watch this. It's going to be fun, so fun. And you know, I think this is the recent Scooby Doo. I don't think there's going to be any more, but we don't know yet. So there is that. That is everything that I have so far. I might have more later on today. I don't know what's going to be arriving. So, funny. But that is everything I have for the moment. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time for another video when I break up that Peace, bye. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have got some more books that I have ordered um, to go with the rest of the books I have ordered as well. So I have actually ordered volume two of mint chocolate and also volume three um because this is really giving me marmalade boy kind of series but it's like really interesting ah. and then a book that has recently just came out as well i have corrupted shadows by rebecca l gracia and cm hunton I literally cannot wait to read this. These are my next year reads, so I am going to be a bit behind, but... Okay, just saw some bits in there, but I'm really happy to get these anyway. So these are the little bits and pieces I have got. Like I said, there might be more, who knows when. I'm sorry if it's been this way. I still have no tripod at the moment. I have ordered one, so hopefully by my next unboxing, I think I will probably have my next one but thank you guys bye hello guys welcome back to my channel today we have got another book to add on to my haul to the videos that i have appended today so this will this month so again if you don't know i'm actually doing these books for next year i'm not going to be reading for this one because i have plenty of books to read for this year um so at the moment rest of the year so what I'm going to do is, where I'm planning to might be moving out soon, like next year, I do need to make sure if I've got books, I'm going to have books got ready. The only books I'm basically going to get for next year is my pre-orders for another book or whatever, so how many. So the next book I have actually got on my list is Red as Blood by Sombroni, Bangia and Dominic Richardson, so if I can't pronounce the name right. So this is the book I've got, so this is like a fairy tale telling. So this is showing us... Um, it says Riverdale meets a fairy tale in this edgy such a twist on the old age stories you think you know. So a re I have watched Riverdale and I like my fairy tale so this is kind of giving me more of um, Red Riding Hood maybe because of red but I am looking forward to that. The writing is very small so that's something but it's a nice little paperback, paperback. Most of the books I've got is paperback. So that's everything I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and sorry for the way the camera is. I'm using my new tripod, fun at last. Um, but I have got some things to show you and then obviously stuff like that. So I've got, so the first up thing is a DVD and it is actually Hotel Transfania, Transmania. Definitely could do not say that right. So this is basically the third, fourth one where Johnny turns into a monster and then all the monsters turn human. So I haven't actually fully watched it yet, but I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this one turns out. And then I got a book. So this is one of my books really that I've read. It's just going to match the edition of Sorcery of Thorns and the um, Enchantment of Ravens. So this is actually Mysteries of, of Thorn Man Manor by Margaret Robson. It is from Fair Relief as well. We have this stunning edition. It looks so amazing and adorable. So I feel like if they've done this as a collection, they might do the same cover book for Vespertine. But I'm not sure if I'm going to have um, the same cover for that one because I've got one, but my one is from Alcrate and that was their edition. So we see. I am waiting for um, Fairy Loot to maybe do 
a um, set for the Inferno Devices by Cassandra Clare because that's the only set edition I do not have because I didn't didn't actually do the Luma Crate version. So I've got also obviously I've got Fairy Lux one and um, Lit Joy's crates versions, but I don't actually have um, my Infernal Devices series, which I need to get because I want to reread that again. But anyway, so this is the Mr. Thorns. We have the gold suede edges. On the back it says, "Not every story has a happy ending." She offered, but most do. If you're brave enough to keep reading to the end. So this is our end paper. So we have, well, I haven't read this in a while. So, Oof. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, and at the back we have this gown. It's kind of giving me like, you see the hair, how it's like white or red. It must give me like to talk. To talk I can't say his name from um, My Hero Academia. Um, and then we obviously we had Nathaniel. Um, Styles as well, he's really adorable. And this is signed by the author. And also, I did not actually see that, but it also does have an author letter in it, which is pretty cool. I do love when they do that. So I do got that. Okay, the next up we do have candles that I got from Emma Seth Candles. So I have three sets. So we have the mummy set, um, the nightmare before Christmas set, and the mythical creature set. Um, I do have um, actually a Halloween raffle um, bonus coming from um, MFX Candles as well, because I actually won a raffle, which I never win anything, so I was quite surprised by that. So I do have that coming, and I think I have other things coming as well. But yeah. Um, also, while I'm actually on this as well, I, you might see random videos pop up because I am testing new ways of new videos um, for next year, which I'll get more on that when I do my update video. So anyway, let's get through the sets. So we have four candles for the mummy set. So if you don't know the mummy, it's the... Um, I'll put probably... I figured out how to put the pictures up, by the way, guys, which I'm so happy with that right now. So if I remember to put it up, I'll put it up. But it's remember the mummy... Like, um, it's my mummy, the mummy, the movie. So, anyway, the first one I got is Im Hot Hut. I can't say the name. So, this is Spice Toker, Ginger, and Honey. So, this is what it looks like. So, Emma said Candle always does a charm. This is their charm, and this is their brand. I'll always leave their links down below. I follow them on Instagram like anything. They always bring out new stuff and new sets, always asking if you want what kind of sets you like. I am also getting their advent calendar as well, which I love the advent calendar, okay? So let's give this a sniff. Hmm. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells something quite familiar. But I'll definitely will be keeping that one. So some of these candles I don't always keep because dependent on the smell because I'm really fussy with some some smells. But you know, I think I put it like this. Okay, the next one is Amra, which is Cedarwood, Jasmine and Musk. So it's like this blue candle with the Book of Amara. Oh, and also Emberskirt's candles always have sparkles in glitter in their candles. So, what is it? Cedarwood, Jasmine and Musk. I don't know. I'm not always a big fan of cedarwood. That's the thing. Oh, musk. Musk I'm not a big fan of. I don't know. I might not keep that one. Then we have O'Connell. So this one is Jupiter Berry, Cardaway and Nutmeg. So we have this one and then we have a revolver. Mmm. I can definitely smell like the juniper berry, but I can't really smell the nutmeg. And then the love set in this uh, mummy set, we have Evie, and this one smells like bergamot, mandarin, cassius, and freezer. So we have a pink candle with a book. I like that one. That's kind of like a subtle scent, but it's got a bit of like, a kick to it almost. 
like well to me it's, it's like a cake um not a cake um a bit of flavor to it i always put these charms out and put them into my cookie jar that i have because why not okay the next set is actually going to be the nightmare before christmas so the first one we have is sally and she is oud orange and saffron so she's in a purple and then she has this artwork as well and we have the little charm Ooh, okay that smells like probably one of my body washes next up we have is halloween town so this is red currant raspberry and cassius 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 so it's another purple candle and then it has the bat um, charm on it. I don't know why these are not. They just don't like me when I do these. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I like that one. That one's nice. That's a nice scent. Next up we have is Jack Skeleton. So he smells like pumpkin caramel icing. Okay. So this is the way it is, and then we have like a little pumpkin charm. Okay, that definitely smells like pumpkin, but whew. Whoa. They're like hitching the side. And then we have this one, which is Oogie Boogie, which we have toasted marshmallows. So this one should smell good. So he's obviously green, of course, with a dice. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Yeah. I'm watching my cats because they're literally going to jump down probably in a minute. But anyway, so far, so good. Then the next candle set is actually the Mythical Creatures. So we do have quite a few. So the first thing that we got given was a bookmark. So this is a mermaid bookmark. Oi! Then we have the four cat, sorry, eight candles. So the first one we have is werewolf. So we do have a werewolf charm. This smells like a toka, bergamot, patchouli, and nutmeg. So it might be another like another scent. And that's going to be like. Woof. Okay, that's actually more a bit more subtle than the other one. Okay, I like that. And who doesn't love a good werewolf? Next up we have is the phoenix, which is plum, clove, orange, and precious wood. So we have that, so nice orange with the phoenix as well. I smelled that scent before, but I'm not, I can't put my exact finger on that. Hmm, I'm not sure on that one. Next up we have if is Shifter. So this is sandalwood, cedar, jasmine and rose. So it's more of a grey kind of white tone with like this crystal on it. Hmm, no. Oof. I don't think I like that smell. No. I want. <clears throat> okay, the next up we have is Faye. So they are black currant, toker, praline, and pear. So we have more of a, um, like a leaf. This kind of reminds me of like a Christmas scent. That's probably just me, but that's what it feels like to me. But it smells good. Okay, next up we have is Dragon. So this one smells like smoke, chocolate, toker, and vanilla. So it is a blue blue candle with a dragon um, charm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about dragon. But you know, we can't really do much about them. Well. 
Then next up we have unicorn. So we have this in pink, so it is kind of floss in it and sugar. This one a better smell good. And with a unicorn charm. I don't know. That one smells like so, as another familiar, a familiar scent, but I just can't put my finger on it. Okay, next up we have Mermaid, Ocean Breeze, Honey and Melon. So we have this kind of just like tone colour with a shell charm. I almost forgot the word. Whoa! Okay, that smells like like a gummy that smells like it. Oh, I can't remember, but it's like really, it, it smells good. It smells good and I like it. Then next up we have is Vampire. So this one is Blood Orange, Neroi and Sandalwood. So we have the colour of red of course and then we have the bite mark. My cat is now sniffing my candles. You might have just seen them in the corner. Or her. Okay, this one definitely smells like my shower gel. Because of the blood orange in it. Yeah. Amazing! And also, so she asked us if we can do uh, well she um she dolly dolly dum um they messaged us and asked us um what scent would you like the dragon eggs to be and i believe i asked mine to be basically marzipan smell so like an almond smell and when i open this up i tell you the box is start falling apart so be on this but at least she said dragon egg east with care okay so when i open this up you saw this okay so my i asked believe to be this color so you can choose the color and choose the scent and i tell you now guys it's a freaking whole dragon's egg this looks amazing and it smells like what i wanted so it's oh look at that one it, like if they did a game of thrones or anything that has dragons in and they did those eggs I think that would be very popular if people like the Game of Thrones series and you did eggs, candles like that. That would be pretty cool. I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I know about Khaleesi and all, her, all of her dragons. And I'll say that's pretty cool. Um, so that is everything I have so far. There might be some other bits here and there, like I said, but we'll see. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have just another book, or shall I say manga, to add to my collection that I will be reading next year. If you guys want to see a full-on video of my next year reads, that I do plan to read. For these are new books I have not even, like, by authors I have not read. Um, I'm reading them, um, and then I'll be showing you a video as well, where I'll be getting books that I have read for this year on previous years as well so just let you know on that so this is actually a manga i've got and it caught my eye because it was the same excuse me i think it's the same author as cheeky brats i think one of the i think it's from the cheeky brats so the manga i actually have is called stray cat and wolf so i've actually did kind of read because i was like intrigued already and it's definitely a manga that I definitely want to keep. So it's only, I think it's only just starting to get the volumes out. So I think there's only two volumes out so far. Um, I only got the first one because um, it's easy. It says, when life gives you lemons and then you wake up in a hot girl's house. Hot guy's house. Tamaki Mish, mm, Mishina was getting, was getting out. Escaping from a tiny village where everyone loathed her for things being beyond her control. Especially since her dad, her last tide of the town, had recently passed away. So she'll get treated like an absolute like outcast. No one will look in her eye and she just treated like anything else. So that's why she applied to high school in Tokyo in the first place. But then she got sent packing from her boarding, her, her boarding house, woke up in a Mr. Playboy Punk Rocker's apartment. So he was about to sleep with someone and um, she, um, so the, the, the young lady basically was like his friend. It turns out to be friends and stop like sleeping with him or something like that. He sleeps with other people, but it gets to the point where he starts to fall for this girl and she starts to fall for him. 
So they have kissed a few times. So anyway, um, Rooker's apartment and just um, kind of stayed there because she didn't have anywhere else to go. Too bad for Rue. Ru, uh, keeps trying to kick her out because she's pretty sure she doesn't understand what it really means to live with a guy. So she doesn't know how the intentions of him having there. But at the end, he's, he's, like, he's like, look, I'm not every time I try and kick you out, anything you do when you run away makes me mad. When you're literally, it makes me jealous when you talk to another guy. So I'm intrigued to see how this, you know, this manga ends. So, yeah. So this is volume one. I do get, plan to get the other volumes as well. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye. <laughs> what is up, guys? Um, So I got another manga. It's going to be for next year of read, and it is volume four of Mint Chocolate. Cannot wait to read it.